The following video demonstrates another aspect of human factors when working traffic. Check out this clip from National Geographic Channel's Brain Games. Today we're going to play a game specifically designed to test your spatial awareness. Meet the Brain Games Double Dutch Team. What does jumping rope have to do with the brain? Well, double dutch requires off-the-chart spatial awareness. And today, these kids are going to help us test yours. For this game, all you have to do is keep track of the number of times that either of the girls in green jumps. You'll count each time one of them lands a jump, like this. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, these jumpers are pretty quick on their feet, so you're going to have to pay attention to keep up. When the whistle blows, start counting. Ready? Go. So, how many jumps did the green team make? Did you say 38? If so, you agreed with 40% of our test audience. <laughs> now, some of you may be on to us, but for those of you who aren't, did you happen to notice anything else going on during the double dutch? Maybe a giant chicken strolling right through the middle of the set and doing a funky chicken dance? Now, some of you may have missed that funky chicken, but many of you probably saw it, and that's okay because the chicken was just there to distract you too. Here's the real question. What color was the wall behind the double dutch game? Here's a hint. It wasn't the same color at the end as it was when they started jumping. The back wall was changing color the entire time, from bright blue to bright red. Nearly everyone misses it, but why? It turns out there's far too much information coming in through the eyes at any given moment for the brain to fully process all of it. As a result, the brain has to act like a spotlight, focusing our attention on some parts of the scene but not others. Now, most of you were probably paying attention to the jumpers, and some of you may have suspected that something strange was going to happen and so you saw the chicken. But you probably weren't paying attention to the back wall. And what we don't pay attention to, we don't see. And uh, hey, for those of you who managed to catch everything so far, did you notice that we also swapped the rope turners out halfway through? Gotcha. Inattentional blindness, sometimes called perceptual blindness, occurs when our focus on one thing causes us to miss something else in plain sight. We can miss even the most conspicuous events unless we pay very close attention to every detail. Let's be honest. It's almost impossible to keep up with all the visual stimuli in the operational environment. So many things are going on and you can't see it all. There's a chance that you might miss something that is moving right in front of you. But don't take it personally. It's the way your brain works. Your brain processes information by selecting and prioritizing what you need to know. When you don't see an object, it's because you're not paying attention to it, you're not expecting it, or you're focused on something else. When you're scanning the operational environment, if you don't expect aircraft to be in a certain part of the airspace, there's a chance you won't see the aircraft because you're not looking for it. Your brain is following the aircraft you're working, not the ones you're not expecting. Of course, you may eventually notice the unexpected aircraft and handle it, but initially, you were experiencing inattentional blindness.